Hi, in today's video, we'll see how to delete the duplicate records from the Oracle table. And for today's demo, we'll be using the table employees test. In this table, we have already some duplicate records. Here we have around eight records. In that, we have Alexander as duplicate records one or two times, and one more record 105 David. So we have two records duplicate that is 103 and 105. Uh, but this is when you see the data set, manually you can identify. But when you have larger data set around like more than one lakh records, it will be difficult to identify the records. So for that, uh, we need to write in query to identify the duplicate records. Now when we uh, run the query to get the duplicate records, we need to get 103 and 105. So for that, uh, we need you know, to write the query to find the duplicate records. So this is a query to find the duplicate records. So we find the duplicate records the, with the help of group by class. So here, every time when you write a query to find the duplicate records, always use the employee I mean the column which has the duplicate records from which uh, which column you are trying to find the duplicates. Now, with the help of employee ID column, we are trying to find the duplicates. Sometimes if you want to find the duplicate records from some different column name or last name or phone number, and just give the column name. In our case, we are trying trying to find the duplicate records with the help of employee ID. So it will be employee ID here. So count all the records and display employee ID from the employee test table. Then group by the employee ID. So then now you run the query. So now it grouped. Now if you, if you see here, 103 is showing two times and 105 is showing two times. Now to find only the duplicate records, now it, it aggregated based on employee ID. So it group based on employee ID now with the help of having clause. Having count. So now if you see here, 103 two times and 105 two times. See, when the data set now with the help of this query we found the duplicates now we need to delete this records when I mean, we are two times right uh, we need to delete the duplicate records so for that what we'll do right? so we i mean there are, okay so before deleting the duplicate records we have multiple ways to delete the duplicate records the first one with the help of row id with the group by function and the second one is similar like row id with self join and it's kind of correlated subquery and third one is using the analytical function in this we have row number and rank function like dense rank or rank function we can use so first we'll see how to delete the duplicate records with the help of row id function so first what we'll do right the first method um, and deleting Um, okay, so now first we'll see how to find the duplicates from row ID. So we we'll just take the employee ID. Okay, now if you see here, uh, 103, we have two row ID. So row ID is some kind of physical column, so which identify records uniquely and it's stored in the database for every row when we insert. So now we have the first name is Alexander and Alexander 1 and David and David 1. So if you see here, this is the old record. I mean, I'll just uh, mention here the old row ID. And this is for 103 record. Here, Alexander is the old record and Alexander 1 is the new record. And for David, this is the old record. And this is a new so while deleting we need to uh, identify or we need to know which record we are going to delete if it is old record or new record so we'll try both scenarios to know how to delete the records So we're row ID not now. 
now we got two records like one or three one or five first we run the sub query to see how many records it displays so what we do right we just take the maximum row id for each employee ID. so when we take maximum you'll get the new record which will be triple a and when this one the second alexander one and alexander two is the latest one so when you run this one you'll get oh, six records So you are just taking the maximum row ID for each employee ID. Then in the select query, you are trying to delete that. Select, I mean, select from employee test where row ID not in. So which means which one? So for for unemployed, you'll have to I mean, for this duplicate records. You'll have two row IDs in that you are trying to delete the older record. So now when you run it, you'll see this one like Alexander and when David will be deleted because of the old record. So when you go with minimum here instead of max, if you give min, here you'll get Alexander. David one and Alexander one will be deleted. So latest record will be deleted. So when you use min, latest record will get deleted. When you use max, old record will get deleted. So before you try to delete that, every time you just run a select query on top of that, then you can delete the records. No, delete. The two records got deleted. Now when you you should have six records. So this is the query to delete the records with the help of group by function. Now the second method is I just roll back the changes so that we can use the same table uh, for the self join. So again with the help of self join we are trying to delete but not with the group by function but we'll use the join condition. I'll just go to that means so deleting record with the help of self join. The syntax will be almost same, just maximum row ID. Front table we will just give alias name mm, e1 and uh, e2 where e1 dot employee id is equal to e2 dot employee id. Okay. Again, here we got two records. Now, if you use max, it will be the older record, and if you use min, it will be new record. So, what we do, right? So, with the employee table, we are just joining with employee ID in the subquery. This is called correlated subquery, and this we'll see in detail in the next videos. So, now just type delete and just copy paste the same thing. Two records got deleted. Now, you run the table, you should have six records. Now let's when again roll back in the changes so that we can use the same table. And third one is by using the analytical functions. So when you use group by it will be aggregate function. I mean the first two are aggregate functions, now we are using the analytical functions. Select okay, the employee ID. And okay, employee should be fine. Now we'll go with the row number. So this will be syntax for row number. Just type the function name and then partition by employee ID, then order by again, order by row ID from employee test. Some syntax is failing. Okay. Um, or we should hold in the specification. I think somewhere we are missing the syntax. Let me check the uh, function. Mm. Okay. Um, it should be okay. Partition by over clause. I think over clause was missing. Right. Okay. Let's print the first name also. Now, if you see here, this is old record for old record with rank as one, and for the new record, we have the rank as two. So, for employee ID, 
103 we have two records like rank 1 and 2 and for David we have rank 1 and 2 again so now from here what you can do right if you want to select only the latest record just put that in the sub query then where are I mean rank so rank is greater than 2 so now we have got all the duplicate records sorry greater than 1 okay so now we have the duplicate records Alexander 1 and 2 now if you want to delete the older records instead of order ready, order ready, ascend, uh, ascending you just give descending here you will get the old record Alexander 1 I mean Alexander and David if it is ascending it will be the latest record so now we want to delete the old record so we will go with this one so now just type uh, delete from employee test where row ID not in then put everything in the sub I mean sub clause so roll back I mean six I think to delete two records okay I think for some reason it's deleting okay it should be in here okay so now two records got deleted now let's query the employee I mean just table so we should have six records uh, similarly if you want to do with the dense rank function instead of row number just replace that with the dense rank function and just you know read read so to identify the duplicate records we need the two things the first with the row id concept and the other one is group by and the second method is with the row id with the self join and uh, this is called as correlated subquery the third one is, is using the analytical function yeah, thank you